Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Thursday mountain weather update. Let's go up to Big Sky. We talked about this yesterday morning. You can see the live tram cam up there. Snowed nine inches in the last 24 hours. That is just a start. You have got a heavy period coming up with a nice storm system. I'll show you that in just a few minutes, but this is just a start. You've got a really nice uh, stretch of time here throughout this weekend for um, a few different powder days. All right, let me take you into Colorado. So this is a view from Loveland Ski Area up on the Continental Divide. You're looking to the east. We had a cold front come in from the north out of Wyoming, but it's dropping down the front range of Colorado. So a lot of the action is to the east of the front range high peaks. It's sitting down lower into the foothills and across the Denver metro area. Um, that's where we're seeing it. In fact, let me just show you radar this morning. You can really see it. Look at the blue. It's all sitting down across Denver and I-25. There's some banking or spilling and sloshing its way up through the foothills, but only a little bit is making it up uh, high on the Continental Divide and over into Summit County, just a touch of it. Uh, but that's going to continue for another couple of hours, at least, across the Front Range. And that's kind of it. You look at the radar across the west. Yeah, there's a little bit of hidden snow up there around Big Sky and you know parts of Wyoming, but... Um, the next storm system is going to be our 110, 11, and 12 storm. That's actually going to come out of Canada and uh, the Pacific Northwest and dive down and following a very similar trajectory. Um, so all that is yet to come. Up in the Northeast, another day of light wraparound snow accumulation. There are a lot of uh, New York and Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, even a little bit in Massachusetts. But uh, I just don't have anything big for the Northeast in my forecast. All right, back west, let me set the table. So this is water vapor. And the oranges and reds are your drier air in the low levels. Your moisture, and you can really see it here with this front. There's a little bit of moisture there coming out of Wyoming, dropping down into Colorado. A little bit of a return flow through New Mexico. This whole front is going to dive down into New Mexico. Um, so you're going to get snow in southern Colorado and just a little bit in northern New Mexico as well. Then there's a big break in the action uh, with drier air. And then here's our 110, 11, and 12 storm. Uh, part of this is going to break off and dive down into the Intermountain West with a pretty good shot of snow for a number of locations. Okay, here my, uh, here's my snow timeline. Best odds of snow. So for Big Sky, we got a little bit of leftover snow this morning and it's light. And then late 1, 10, 11, and 12, it's going to be heavy. And, and I'm thinking probably a foot of accumulation out of that period. So a powder weekend. Um, in the Wasatch, your best shot comes in late 110 through 111 with moderate to heavy accumulations, light on 112. In the Tetons, 110 and 111 looks, well, late 110 into 111 looks heavy, probably 10 to 12 inches. In Colorado, some light snow this morning, moderate on 111, light on 112, nothing for Tahoe. Uh, potentially moderate accumulations for interior BC 110, 111 with that same storm system that's going to dive out of Canada and BC and into the lower 48. Now an interesting thing, let's let's dr drill down here. This is Alta, Utah. Forecast mediagram for 9,000 feet. There's the column for today. There's the, the 10th. There's the 11th. There's the 12th. Now this particular model is is way too light in my opinion. It only forecasts maybe four inches of accumulation, late 10 into 11. I think there's going to be quite a bit more than this. And you can see the winds are pretty stiff, gusts of 50 miles per hour as this front comes in late on 110 into early 111 with west-northwest winds. I think you're going to see snow not only late 110, but 11 and probably into 112, which isn't shown here. So that's going to be a pretty big shot of snow. And you can see the temperatures turn colder. Um, we could be down to two, zero to two degrees by late 11 into 12. So it's definitely going to get colder behind that storm system. So again, I think this is awfully light. My forecast is much higher than what's shown here. Okay, into Colorado, looking at the setup. Time height forecast, I'm looking for green here. That's humidity in the atmosphere. So we've got it today. You can see the green. This is a 72-hour forecast. You read that from right to left, and as you're looking down through all the vertical layers of the atmosphere. So we've got some moisture around today, although, like I said, most of it's east of the continental divide. Then we get a little bit of a break, and then the moisture increases on 11 and 12 across the central and northern mountains of Colorado. So I do think we're going to see accumulation during that period. In fact, here's my, well, here is the snow forecast 
over time, accumulation of snow. So we'll start it early. Well, we'll start at lunchtime today. So you've got some light accumulations. That's what the blue color represents, three inches or less of accumulation through Wyoming, Colorado, all diving down into southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. There's late tonight. Everything is uh, starting to move out. And look at the uh, the snow returns through parts of Texas and Oklahoma. We could be looking at six inches or more of accumulation through parts of North Texas and parts of South and Southeastern Oklahoma, along with ice. Okay, so that moves out. And then here comes our next storm system right here, coming in from the north. So this is late on Friday the 10th. Snow dropping down through Montana, Idaho, into Wyoming. Look at that. Through the Tetons, we could be looking. And once you see the greens pop up, that's four, five, six inches. Yellows would be in excess of six inches. And then that also hits the Wasatch, the High Uintas. So this is early on Saturday the 11th right here. Dropping down into Colorado in the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Here we are by late on Saturday, the 11th. Snow dropping down through the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Still some leftover snow on the backside, up through Montana, Wyoming, Idaho. Um, here's late on the 11th. All right, here's the early morning hours of Sunday, January 12th. Still a little bit of leftover snow across parts of uh, potentially Utah, central and northern mountains of Colorado, Wyoming, and Montana in very cold air. All right, here we are um, approaching lunch on Sunday, January 12th. Still some leftover snow in many of those places. Okay, here's my official uh, official forecast. All of today through 113. We'll start in the Wasatch. I've got 6 to 12 inches. I showed you that model earlier. It was much lighter. It was, you know, maybe 4, 5, 6 inches. I think we're going to see a lot more than that. Um, those higher end totals are going to be up there at Solitude, Brighton, Alta, and Snowbird of a foot. Up in the uh, the Tetons, similar, probably a foot of accumulation across uh, Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee. A foot up there at Big Sky, probably 10 at Bridger Bowl, less everywhere else up there in Montana. In Colorado, 4 to maybe 10 inches across the central to northern mountain corridor from uh, Snowmass, Aspen to Vail, Summit County. Loveland, A Basin, Water Park, Eldora, up to Cameron Pass, and um, Steamboat. Less in the southern mountains, but still some accumulation down there. Just not nearly as much. Nothing for the Sierra. Pacific Northwest, 4 to 12. Interior, BC, 3 to 6. But less in Fernie, less in um, Bam Sunshine, and less in Marmon Basin. And a little bit for Idaho. But not a ton. Um, okay, let me take you up to the northeast, all of today through the 13th. Not a whole lot here. Minor accumulations, one to four inches will do it through Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and New York. All right, guys, we'll end on the western map. And again, we've got some powder days ahead, especially for parts of the Tetons, parts of Big Sky, Bridger Bowl, the Wasatch, the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Those are going to be the hot spots. Um, especially with that storm system coming in on 110, 11, and 12. That's going to be the prime time. Guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it. Take care and have a great day.